This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. As the province makes plans for students to safely return to school, the staff and students at Campobello Island Consolidated School are concerned they won't get to compete along with the rest of the province in interscholastic sports. Once the seasonal ferry ends its services at the end of September, islanders will only be able to cross into the rest of the province via a bridge through Lubeck, Maine, and only for essential services. Going to play sports is not considered an essential service. So I'm very worried that the students at our school will not be able to participate in sports programs the way that other schools in New Brunswick can, simply because we do not have a year-round ferry and we are going to have to cross through the states. Carton doesn't expect other schools to travel to Campobello this year, but she believes her students should have the opportunity to compete against other schools in sports, just like any other school in the province. I was pretty much resigned to the fact that we wouldn't have students coming here to play sports, and that's not a big deal. We can go play on a different field. But I really want for our students to be able to go other places to play sports. When Blaine Higgs, leader of New Brunswick's Progressive Conservative Party, was recently in St. Andrews for a tourism announcement, I asked him if his government had any plans to extend the seasonal ferry. Extending the ferry would not only allow Campobello Island students the opportunity to play sports, it would also extend what has otherwise been a healthy tourism season for the island. I guess leading to wanting to understand any issues of restraint moving back and forth across that border for residents in Campobello to get through to St. Stephen is very, very important for me because it, it, we, we need to do that. But in addition, I think understanding what economy, how it's being impacted by the ferry operation, and if we need to extend that for, for a period of time to, to continue some activity, which has been significantly dropped, I think it's certainly well worth concerning uh, or considering and, and deciding uh, how to make it happen. The issue of the Campobello Island Ferry is already a hot election topic in the St. Croix riding. In order for voters to get to know their candidates better, CHCO will be broadcasting a Meet the Candidates night with all five St. Croix candidates this Friday at 7 p.m. St. Stephen's Brad McKinney of the NDPs is the latest candidate to join the roster. The event will be held at the Garceland Civic Center with no audience. We look forward to bringing this into your homes on Friday at 7 p.m. Those without access to television will be able to watch the event streamed on CHCO's YouTube and Facebook pages. Finally, the 14 students in Campobello Island's Consolidated Schools Grade 11 Class of 2020 didn't get to celebrate prom as planned this year due to COVID-19 restrictions. With just a week before starting their senior year, the island helped make their prom plans a reality by holding an outdoor celebration for the now grad class of CICS in a tent near Head Harbor Light Station. Well, mainly due to COVID and because we couldn't put large crowds together and we couldn't uh, have a proper venue, we couldn't have it inside as opposed to any other place. So this is what we've done and we've put it outside here and uh, yeah, it's come together pretty well. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.